So when she comes in on her woo is still going. Uh, it's a cool effect. Check it out one more time. Hey, I'm Nathan Walters, music producer, recording artist, and former boy band member. Back in the day, I was in a boy band called Plus One. We signed to Atlantic Records, worked with mega producer David Foster, and sold over a million copies. These days, I'm producing for others and making music for film and TV commercials. When I'm not doing that, you'll find me here releasing my own music, reactions, and unique approaches to music production. All right, so today we're going to dive in and uh, check out the song 8 by IU. This song is produced by Suga, so I'm pretty excited to check it out. Uh, IU is a new artist for me. Um, uh, I know many of you in the comments said, check out IU, so I'm just not getting around to it. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the community. Please keep the comments coming. Let me know what songs you want me to review, uh, and subscribe and like if you're new to this channel. What I like to do is uh, react to the song first, and then I'll do like a deep dive in. Sometimes I go deeper than others, but I'll check out all the individual files that I've gotten through some software, and uh, it's pretty cool that we can do that. So as a producer, that excites me because uh, I can dive in and, and check out you know, the kick and the bass and the snare and the vocals, and it's really fun. Uh, but yeah, let's listen to 8. It's the first time I've heard it. I'm going to check it out, and then, and then we'll dive in. Let's go. Pretty low bass. I hear. That's cool. Okay. I want to stop this real quick. I like, okay, the imagery was like this space thing and you had that, that really low bass in the front and um, I thought it was going to be uh, something very futuristic and uh, I, it's nice to hear those acoustic guitars come in with this kind of visual. Okay, here we go. Let's dive into this. Hits different. Man. I like that melody. Okay, let me hold off. Man, that's cool. That I like that. Okay, I like I like the uh, the acoustic. It's like like I said, it's got this acoustic feel and a little bit of a synth kind of thing in the background that sounds like a space kind of thing. Uh, that's that's my take on it. And then, uh, yeah. But I got distracted by her melody and vocal, so I, I, we'll go back and listen to the, the track from there, or on the verse, because I, I didn't really pay attention. I got lost in her voice and was just listening to her, her track, or her voice, not her, not the track. Okay, let's keep going. Here's a chord. I like that melody, too. So many melodies happening, I want to comment on. Oh, okay. Oh, this is going to be cool. Uh, yeah, that that, mel that chorus just kept going. And uh, and then she, she had a high note in there. I'm, I'm going to check out later that she kept going to. That was just a really... I love the melody. Like, Of course, when you're songwriting, you may not know this, but... Um, you don't want your chorus to be boring, right? If you've come up with a really cool melody in the verse, like she has, and it's already catchy. It's almost kind of like a, uh, almost like it could it could probably stay on it stand on its own as a chorus. 
Um, it's like they had to go somewhere, which they did, and took it to the next level. So that was cool. So not only did their cor- the course get bigger with the melody, but inside the course, that that high note was even higher, which is which is uh, entertaining. Hearing it for the first time. <laughs> I love that. I mean, that's like I've only like I've said I've said this in other reactions. I've only heard that kind of rap style, uh, really, with BTS. Yeah, I, I haven't. Let me know if if that's I, actually. I feel like it's just BTS. It's it's Sugar and how they do that. It's it's so unique. <laughs> Cool. Like how he's singing. There's that catchy melody. I mean, that could be a chorus on its own. Cool. And then that, da, 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 da. and then that background. Da, 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 da. Cool. Okay. Outro, outro, uh, post course. That's the word. Post course hook. Cool. I like that. Forever we're young. It's almost like you you would think that would be the name of the song, but then. Oh, okay, so she's doing another language, but I love even that lyric. Uh, it is a nightmare. I don't want to wake up forever. You could almost try to translate that in English easily. Doable. Cool. This video took a, a big journey visually. Cool. I don't recommend. I, I don't recognize that melody. Is that from another song, or was that? Cool. So epic. All right, let's dive in. I want to check out these audio files. Um, okay, so many great melodies. That kept my attention the whole time. I'll be honest. I lost most of the time. I will forget about, not forget about, but I'll kind of like, I notice this when I look back at reaction videos. I'm, I'm always talking about the track, and that's just how my mind works. Um, I mean, I, I'll, of course, I'll talk about vocals. But here, I got lost. I was just listening to her vocal. And I don't remember everything that happened in the track, so let's, let's dive in. Let's start. Let's start with the verse. Here we go. Yeah. So I like. I love that opening line. So are you happy now? And I love how she's singing that too. It's like. It's like. It's like it's like not so over the top articulated. It's just very like almost slurry. Sorry, happy now. Happy now. That's cool. Sorry, happy. Hey, let's check out our vocals. Here we go. Let's check out our vocals. Sorry, happy now. Is that delay? Finally, happy now. Yeah. So, yeah, on this vocal track, you can hear oh, there's some other things swirling around her vocal. 
So that that's this the way this software um, separates the track. Sometimes you, it will suck in other pieces of other instruments on here. So this is part of the pad we're hearing. But also her vocal reverb. Cool, let's check out the uh, guitars, acoustic, somewhere in here. Okay, so the, the strums are just like... And then the kick is keeping down the beat uh, up here. This is the kick. Go, go. Four on the floor, they call it. It's not picking up too. Oh, wait, here we go. There we go. That's the kick. All right. We're missing some things. Okay, there, there's the other drums. Let's hear that drum fill. What's this? the bass. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I feel like you've got wood elements in there. Okay, let, let's... It's like an electric guitar. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, they're all, they're all muddy together, but at least you can hear the guitars together. Bring her vocal in. Oh wow! So her vocal's soaring. That track is so just easy going. Wow, it shows how much a difference a vocal makes. I love that melody. This one. The Let's bring the drums in and fill that together. Cool. So you hear that, uh, reverb? That was cool. Okay, here, here's a little. So, you know, I talk about delay and reverb, and um, you, when, you, when you're mixing all these tracks together, um, you don't just, like, put delay, delay on it, put reverb on it, and just let it be. Um, if you look at the sessions I mix and produce, and then any, any producer, I'm sure if you found the original session of this, we could see that, things would be automated. Automated meaning you would move a fader, Actually, let's look at Logic really quick. Here's here's a uh, mix board here. So you, you got all these tracks here, right? So I can make this go up and down, and that go up and down, and these these are the different the files of uh, what we're hearing in here. Um, instead of let, letting them just sit in one spot, a lot of a lot of the time um, mixers will automate it to where they'll here in Logic you can you can do this little thing called touch, and so now. Oh, Oh, yeah, let's actually do this for real. Okay. Um, here we go. I will automate her vocal to go up and down. <laughs> here we go. So this is... Let's see if I can get in. I'm going to uh, move the fader down. All right. So now we're going to play that back, and I'm not even going to touch it. Moves by itself. Right? All right, that's a simple example of how automation happens. You automate the the tracks to go up and down. So you can make that happening. You are panning things. Let's look at this. Let's look at the track again. The fader. So you've got volume going up and down here. This is the volume. This makes it louder, quieter. And then you have this thing here. This will pan things left and right. If you've heard, if you've watched other reaction videos, I'll talk about how you can make audio just to go in the left ear, just make it go in the right ear. This is how you do that. Pan this left and left and right, and you can automate that to where it will automate and and happen. Uh, you can also automate 
um, delay. I'll add, I'll add uh, an effect here. I'm not going to go super deep into logic. I just realized I'm going to open up a whole can of worms. But basically, you can add effects like delay, and you can automate the delay and the reverb. And that's what's happening here. Let's just listen to our vocal. So at that part, they just pulled up the reverb and delay a little just to kind of like, some people will call that like a like throw, a throw, just you're throwing the, the delay out real quick, you know, or the reverb just to make it have this moment of like, and then you'll bring it back down. If they left it up loud that whole time, it would just be a big washy song. It would be like, oh my gosh, stop the reverb, stop the delay. But you make the track come to life when you have those moments of like the reverb. Oh, ship, she, no. Cool. And so, uh, and that can happen in the chorus too. A lot of times you'll start to bring up delay or bring up, you know, parts you want to feature. So, let's check out, check out I want to hear that by itself. That by. She has some nice stacks on her vocals. Here, let's zoom in all this. Those are uh, background vocals. She sang the same part as her lead a few times. It's probably two or three times. Maybe four. Yeah. In there. All stacked vocals. Okay. I guess we can keep listening to the vocal. <laughs> that's what got that's what got my attention. Okay, let's let's check out uh sugar. Okay, so there's even some some kind of like effect that's at Okay, cool. That might be a mixture of some vocals, vocal delays, maybe reversing the vocal. Yeah. Like they added a bunch of delay and reverb. That's cool. I like that. So yeah, yeah. You know, a lot of times this is interesting for me as a producer. I always, I don't do a lot of rap, right? I've done a few, a few here and there, um, and. I've always wondered what what do others do when when they do a rap vocal? Do they keep reverb on there? Do they have play with delays in there, or is it just more of a dry vocal? And here you can you can hear that his vo his voice still has yeah, reverb and delay. Is it? Is that sure? Ooh, I like that har I like that uh harmony. I don't remember that happening in the uh first course, which is cool. Maybe it did, but if it didn't it's a little trick. It's not a trick. It's just a, a strategy that a lot of producers and songwriters will do. Producers, where they'll just, you know, let the the track build. Don't give all the goodies away. Don't give all the good harmonies out in the first chorus. Save it for the second chorus so it can build. That's nice. Like, no no harmony there. Just a, just a moment for her to sing by herself. No harmony. So no harmonies, just every now and then uh, background vocals stacking key key words. Not the whole time, just certain phrases. Okay, so her da 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 
Uh, listen closely. They threw some reverb and delay just a little bit there so that can extend even though her next phrase came in. Listen. So when she comes in on um, her, her is still going. Uh, it's a cool effect. Check it out one more time. Cool. I, there's, a, there's a lot of moments of her voice I like. Like, and here's another one. Um, she, I love the air in her voice. I mean, um, she has a very sweet voice, and it doesn't seem like she's trying to be like, you know, I'm a big powerful singer, and you know, she she seems like she knows her lane, and and she's 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 doing her thing, you know, which which I love. <laughs> Yeah, she way she's hitting falsetto. She's like, <sighs> she's just hitting those falsetto mo moments really pretty. Back in her kind of chest voice. It, it hits different when a girl sings it versus a guy because our, our the timbre in our voice is different. But yeah, that's cool. That's the chest voice. Falsetto. Chest voice. Oh, cool. Something happened there. Hear that? It sounds like reverse vocals or something to me. So after this comes in into the background vocals. Yeah. Listen to one more time. Oh, and hear that delay ringing out there again. And here she's doing the, on the, ooh, 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 she's got octaves here. And I've, I've talked about that in the past. I'll say it again if you're new to my channel. Um, I like, I love harmonies, but if you had too many harmonies the whole time, it's just too much. It's, it's too, too much. Um, here, they're embracing a moment just to like, you know, have a, the, uh, or, who, who, she's up there. And then, who, wait, uh, 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 ooh, 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 she's doing that note. And then the octave up, which is hard for me Ooh, ooh, ooh. And she also hitting that, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. So it's just it's the same note. Um, oh, well, this is it's the same note as far as I don't know. I don't have my piano here, but if if that's an A, it's an octave A. You know, um, those are two different notes, but it's an octave. So in in if, instead of putting a harmony in there, she could have done. You know, uh, whatever. But instead, they chose to make it just an, an open octave, uh, which sounds great. It makes the track, I think, sound bigger sometimes. <laughs> and there, something happened. Back the again. <sighs> that's probably a reverse vocal or something. Okay, that's cool. We just listened to the whole vocal the whole time. Um, which is which is fine. I, I was me mesmerized by her vocals, so I'll check out a little of the track. Let's see if any anything's fun to see in here. Okay, got electric guitar. I didn't even notice that. Wow. Wow. It's a very um, organic sounding track, if you will. It's like, and there's a lot of programming and cool ear candy stuff, like reversed vocals and pads. But for the most part, it seems like you've got. That sounds like a live bass to me, the way it's moving. Live bass. Drums are programmed drums. Yeah, it's like a loop. And then the, the acoustic guitars, when they come in. There we go. And then the electric. I mean, that's like a live, almost a live band. What's, what's this? Something's here. Oh, just 
the rest of the frequencies of the that make up the guitars. Here we go. So all of it together. Cool, feels great. Let's bring in her vocal. back in the cool space futuristic whatever sound effects wow what you know what a great spectrum they hit you know cool programming and synths i want to know what that is let me know and then uh the acoustic you know all all the acoustic elements i talked about that's really cool i like that all right well i'm starting to become an iu fan i'm gonna check out more of her songs um Someone sent a list, a few of you sent a list of some songs I should check out, so I'm going to do that. Um, In the meantime, thank you for watching. Please leave some more comments of the songs or bands or artists you want me to check out, and I will go through them and look at them. And please subscribe, share this video with others, and I'll see you next time.